Welcome to LP Outdoors, the channel with everything the outdoor world has to offer. Cool. Yeah. Staring at me. <laughs> it's looking right at her. My very first Laker. They're huge. <laughs> I love them because they look like. The best eating fish out there. Yeah. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss any of these great adventures. It's going to be an epic fall. Special shout out to all my patrons out there. If you want to become a patron, you can go to patreon.com and look up LT Outdoors. Also, thank you to anybody who donates to this channel. Well, I'm on my way over to Rick's right now picking him up to go on a snipe hunt. And I wanted to, I wanted to mention this while it's fresh in my mind, guys. You know... For those of you that still want to joke about the snipe and say that it's not real, you know, if you haven't watched my last video, watch it. I talk about a lot of comparisons. Some of you think that a woodcock's a snipe. They're not. They are a totally different bird. They might be distant cousins because they both have a lot of similarities, but there are also a lot of differences. Um, you know, the main thing I want to talk about at this moment is the legs. You know, the, the uh, snipe is made for waiting it is a waiting bird so it needs longer legs okay the snipe has very long legs it's made to wait in the water that's what they do woodcock on the other hand they're a woodland bird they're sure they like wet stuff you know they're pulling worms out of muck and stuff but the woodcock has short short legs because they're made to hunker down in the woods and that's where they nest and everything they've got to be able to hide good in the woods so you know the woodcock if they had long legs they would have never made it. The evolution would have killed them off a long time ago. So yeah, make sure you stay tuned guys. This should be a fun video. All right guys, today I've actually got some better shells. I have seven and a half upland steel for my 12 gauge, which is what I recommend. Seven and a halfs or even eights if you can find them, but it's hard to find light loads in steel. Luckily my buddy, um, Mark David, he's got a gun shop in Oscoda and he was carrying them for me. So Yep, I'm gonna walk down this stretch here though and see what we end up jumping. Just jumped one right there. Let's see if there's another one. That was a good shot. Yeah, that's a good looking bird right there. I'm gonna leave all that tracking in here and I'll speed it up but I want you guys to see just how hard it is to see that bird down there in the grass now I walked past him on both sides of him never seen it I almost lost it but I'm gonna tell you right now there's nothing worse nothing worse than uh, losing a bird of any kind you don't want to be wasteful I hate losing even ducks you know if you if you shoot something Put in that extra work to go find it. Don't just give up on it because you can't find it. It took me a couple passes through the grass to find that one, but totally worth it. It's great when you find them. So let's keep looking.
Always got to do that to me, huh? <laughs> Every time, they just keep going towards the road. <laughs> oh, I can't handle that. Dang. Everybody, welcome to another adventure at LT Outdoors. Back at it again with my buddy Rick, and today I took him on his very first snipe hunt. So, hope you guys enjoy this. See if he gets some snipe. See if we get some birds. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think. <laughs> Rogue. There goes one. Oh. <laughs> That's a rail. I see him running right here. That's a rail. That is what you call a Sora rail. See, they look like oh. a little chicken. Yeah, I thought it had a long beak, beak on it when I first seen it. Nope. Oh. These are allowed 24. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yep, I've only ever shot a couple in a day, but. You'll hear them before anything, but it's this traffic that's getting us. Ah. <laughs> oh. You hear that one? one? Yep, you hear them? Signature snipe, man. Here he comes. Oh, dang it, man. Oh, da yep, I see him. Since we started walking, though, and he, yeah, he'll be in a good spot. There was three that dumped at the end of your grass, so I'm sure we're going to jump them in a minute. Oh, man. You see how sporadic, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Isn't it crazy how they fly? Yeah. Look at, there's four in the air there, over that power pole. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there goes some more. See, it'll kill you, man, that road. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? <laughs> There's nothing like this, man. Ain't bad walking though, is it? Ah. <laughs> he was right next to me over here. Oh man, my safety got off. I know, I gotta keep my eye on that spot. Oh, here he is. Oh, 
See, this is a snipe. <laughs> Just like a little woodcock. Yep, longer legs, longer beak. Yeah. Littler body. Faster. <laughs> They're fast. They float, well, at least they float, you know, somewhat close to the ground. Yeah. They get on that. Yeah, kind of yeah. like a woodcock. When they get up, they get on a... <laughs> I've seen that. Yay! <laughs> Hell yeah, man! You found him? Oh my god, I thought that was going to be a needle in a haystack. I figured he hit the water. I thought so too. <laughs> Rick just got his first snipe there, guys. That was a good shot too, man. He folded. Heck yeah, man. Some darn good eating right there. Gotta admit, there's nothing, I mean, no other bird I don't think you can jump this much of. Yeah. It's pretty wild. Oh, God dang. Three, three, four, five, six, seven. There's still flying out on the other side of that. Eight. Oh, my God, you're still going. Hopefully, they circle back around. Oh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, there was one out in the middle. There he is. There's probably going to be a bunch right here on this flat. Oh. Ah, you sucker, you. Right at the road. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my god, that was Three, six, eight. Oh my god. Plus a couple that went to the right. Yeah. I hear more taking off. That is nuts. Man, that feels good. Alright guys, we've been walking around for a good bit here trying to find his bird, because as you can see tall grass these things blend in nice but heck yeah rick just got himself a second snipe awesome shot man <laughs> I I seen him. There's another one right here in front of me too. Is there? Yeah. Oh. Dang. Get him. <laughs> That's a lucky bird. Oh! <laughs> uh, got it, guys. Uh, I think I already know the answer to this, but what do you think about snipe hunting? It's pretty fun. You like it? Yeah. <laughs> Good <fun>. deal. <laughs> yeah. Want to know where you can go to find my favorite plastics? It's easy, guys. Go to www.freedombaits.com. That's baits with a Z, and you can get my all-time favorite plastics. Ever since I started using Freedom Baits, I have caught more and bigger fish, and I know you can too. Also, check out my Pro Pack that is listed on the site. That way you can get all my favorite plastics in one place for $24.99. Looking for the perfect tackle box for your jigs? And I'm not talking regular jigs, but also your jigging Rapalas or jigging Rapala style lures. I've got just the right here for you guys. 
Now, StoneTackle.com has awesome looking. I mean, these are just snazzy and they're great. These are nice looking boxes, guys. Stone Tackle, that's www.stonetackle.com. Look at that. She also has jigging wrap style box to hold your special jig wraps, as well as this monster right here, which could hold an awful lot of jigs. Make sure you go to www.stonetackle.com. Check out her awesome boxes and use discount code LTOutdoors to get you 15% off. Want to know where to go to get my all-time favorite jigs? And I'm talking open water and ice fishing. It's easy, guys. Go to www.widowmakerlures.com. They got a good mixture of tungsten and leadhead jigs and a great, great selection. They also have wicked t-shirts like this one that I'm wearing here, which I got to say is super comfy and probably my all-time favorite. Also, if you want to get a discount, you get 10% off by using discount code capital L, capital T, capital O, LT Outdoors. Used, remember, that's capital L, capital T, capital O, LT Outdoors gets you 10% off. Want to know where you can go to get great LT Outdoors products like the ones used in today's show? Like the Panty Pounder or the Pig Pounder. It's easy, guys. Go to ltoutdoorslureco.com. Check out what I got in stock. I got a lot of great products. <laughs> There's nothing a little music can't help. Rockin', rockin' and rollin'. Down to the beach I'm strollin'. But the seagulls poke in my head. Not fun. I said seagulls. Mm, stop it now. Oh, oh, oh.